This here is my favorite dessert of all time. It is a banana pudding. You can tell by the jello. I'm trying something new. I've never made I've never made this with the lactose free and basically skim milk, I want to say, but fat free. However, first time for everything. Here we are. Got some protein. Can't tell you where it's from. If I do, I might have to kill you. G14 classified. However, I will say this. It is a whey isolate. And each one of those is 20 grams of protein. They are mess free, no fillers, zero sugar, lactose free, gluten free, soy free. So basically, that means they're keto friendly. So read the package instructions. You all, you all should know how to do that. If not, um, sucks to be sucks. Sucks to suck. No, sucks to be you. No, I'm playing. But um, basically, you will mix two cups of the milk, two cups of the milk with this. I like to do a little extra. Why? Because I'm adding more of this powder right here. So I'd say let's do two and a quarter. And from there, you already know, two minutes blend. I'm not going to show y'all that. We're going to come back with the consistency. Ooh, it won't even on. I'm sorry, y'all. Horrible angle. So here we are back at it. It's blended. I add a little vanilla to it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? My name's Scotty P. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is I would say do a least half of this joint, but add it in at a time. I'm about to say, what is that noise? Y'all, it ain't about to be all that sweet, but it's okay. I got a sweet tooth. If I want something sweet, I want it to make me go like that. But you got to be mindful. You're going to add some wafers to it. And no, I do not put no wafers in the joint at the bottom and the bananas. I do not do none of that. I'm a deconstructed guy. So I'm going to make this. And when I want my serving, I will spoon this out into a bowl. Then I will slice my bananas, add it in, mix it, crumble some of my wafers on top, as well as maybe add me a dollop of extra whipped cream. If not, um, minus the dollop, I would still add the crumbs. So, but yeah, everybody ain't got to make the, the banana pudding the same, bro. <laughs> I can't stand it. They just, you go to the church, it be in the tray. <laughs> you you go to your grandma house or your aunt house, because everybody supposedly got an aunt that make it better than everybody, I guess. But like I said, I want to use about half of this. Because now you got personal service type stuff. Yeah. Don't mind me. Yes, I'm going to give me a, a little spoonful. Mm. Yeah, it ain't the full fat, but I'm going to take it. It's still good. And so, yes. People be talking about fold it in, fold it in. Yeah, that's cool, but guess what? Fold it in ain't working. Mix that mug. Mix that mug. And you're going to cool it. And look, this is why you should make your banana pudding like this, because everybody know. If you put them bananas in there and you don't eat it in three, five days, now you got brown pudding. And don't nobody want to eat no brown looking pudding. So make your pudding separate. And like I said, individual serve it. But if you, you know what I'm saying, go do your family reunion, your cookout, Thanksgiving, holidays, all that good stuff. I understand if you're going to make it like your aunt do. But me, I'm going to keep making it like this. And with that being said, you hit me in the background. Hey, you want some? Get my get my baby on camera. You want some here? Yes. Here. God darn it. Of course. Is it good? Yes or no? Yep. Is it good? You looking like you want some more. <laughs> here. Here's a spoon. I think she approves, guys. So, anywho, y'all already know what to do. 
Let this chill for an hour, at least 30 minutes, and then uh, we'll be back to serve. And here we're back. And unfortunately, something happened with the audio. Um, again, it was my first time using the mic, a lapel mic, and it died on me. So here, sped up the clip, and we're going to do this here voiceover. I was saying at this point how thick it was, how it held to the spoon. And I don't think y'all be having no banana pudding that be sticking to the spoon like that. So you need to make this pudding like this if you want some thick banana pudding that's going to stick to the spoon. It's going to stick to the spoon and it's going to stick to your stomach. Here we are. We're about to go ahead and get you the bananas now. They're coming along in five, four, three, two, one. Here, I'm telling you, get organic bananas. It is a difference. If you ain't eating them organic bananas, you ain't doing it right. You missing out. So, about to start chopping the bananas. Or as you see, you can't see them. You see them coming on now. But yeah, chopping the bananas. Very thin. Almost like a julienne. But a slither or coin. About the same uh, the same size of a... I'd probably say they were same density or size of a little dime. We got a quarter size in there and looking at it. But yeah, this is how we do it. Clean up after yourselves. You rotten scoundrels. But yeah, bananas are in. Now we can go ahead and top it on off. Get you the vanilla wafers. Or if you if you so obsessed with the chessman cookies, like again, like your auntie make it, go ahead and get them. Traditionally or normally I would put a dollop of the whipped cream on and then finished it with the crumbs uh, or the crushed up wafers, but nevertheless. One of these going to be the thumbnail. So now the fun part, stirring it, combining it all together. Because again, traditional banana pudding, y'all get it all mixed or the bananas at the bottom. But again, showing you, that joint still just thick. The taste. Oh my God, I still got some in the fridge. I'm about to have me some as a nightcap tonight, you heard? And what I was saying here is, it's sweet, but it is not overwhelmingly sweet. Again, here's where I get in my bag. So I can recreate it, re what I was thinking. Look, I know your auntie. I know your auntie make it, but it's too sweet. I know dessert is spelled with two S's, sweet snack, but it don't need to be that sweet, y'all. We be about to go into a goddamn uh, uh, a sugar rush or a sugar coma or whatever it is, just due to all that sugar. And I like sugar, but we gotta we gotta scale it back sometimes. So I was saying make it like this because it's the perfect amount of sweet. Here, my lovely daughter. Of course, y'all know how it is. You got kids, man. You can't have nothing to yourself. So with that being said, she getting her sample on. We getting we getting our baby approval. My girl, she working on that independence, feeding herself. Y'all see that? God dang, she was mad. Oh, and then I said here, we getting freaky now with the banana pudding. We putting the strawberries in it. And oh my God, it is a game changer. If you've never had the strawberries in the banana pudding as well, please. And here we go. You already know. Graves Gang, like, share, comment. Until the next one, I love you. Peace.